Okay, I've got a question recently from someone and they are doing intermittent fasting themselves. They're fasting for about 16 hours a day and then they're eating usually two meals between an eight hour eating window. And their question was, how can I continue to do this diet and have no mess ups? And I have a very simple answer for that. You're not going to. You are going to have mess ups. You're going to mess up. You're going to fall off the wagon. You're going to fall out into the canal when you were riding the boat. You're going to fall off the tractor. I've done it so many times myself. That has been the, the, main, the main diet of my life has been yo-yo dieting. You, you switch back and forth from diets. You try, it, you try a diet. You try a lifestyle change, a way of eating, and then boom, you fall off the boat. You go back to your old ways. The key here, my friend is not to not mess up because you're going to mess up whether it be tonight at 12:30 when you get the munchies for some hot cheetos or some cookies or grandma's pie or whether it's in a month or two months when you just have a weak moment or you're out or something with your friends especially the social life can be a big um uh a big component of messing up your, your current uh, dieting plan or, or lifestyle change or whatever you want to call it. My advice to you is not to try to not mess up so much, but to try to stick with the plan when you do mess up. So what I mean by that is 1230, you stumble out, you've been doing good for three weeks, you have you know, a dozen cookies or, or whatever you have, you know, a box of Mike and Ike's and a pizza. That's disgusting. Uh, but then you get right back on the, on the boat, right back on the wagon, and you keep trucking with it, and you create consistency. That is the key to vitality. That is the key to losing weight, man. That's the key is consistency. We all want to make these changes and we, we're we not afraid to oh, implement them real quick, but three days later, uh, we're back on the same trail where we started. We take three steps forward and six steps backward. What we want to do is take 10 steps forward, two steps back, another 10 forward, two back, another 10 forward, and before you know it, you're on a whole different path and your life has changed. So my advice, again, don't try not to to mess up for the rest of your life because it's going to happen. Maybe create create a little cheat day for yourself or create a, uh, you know, a cheat day once every two weeks or once a week or whatever it may be for you or cheat meal every week. And then when you do mess up and you lose it, get right back on to the intermittent fasting and continue. Out.